Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I I think this is like the first time I've ever had my hair up during a video But anyways, I thought we just kind of had like a chill relaxing session I'm gonna tell you guys what's on all the bags There's basically six bags that are basically on my radar right now That I'd be like this close to buying So if you guys are interested on the bags that I'm basically thinking of getting just keep watching as you guys know There is no way in that I'm gonna be getting all six of these bags before the end of the year I wish like I wish but I'm probably gonna get one of these bags by the end of the year if I'm lucky and I'm being like really really financially responsible then maybe I'll get two if I like hold back on my spending most likely than not that's not gonna happen so the first bag that I'm definitely thinking about getting is the Bottega Veneta Arco Tote okay so first of all I have wanted this bag for a very long time but it was so similar in shape and size to my Dior book tote that I was like it's okay I'm just gonna push it back I'll get it eventually da -da 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 -da. however the last time that I was at Bottega Veneta they actually have a new size of the Arco tote if you didn't know it's basically a smaller version of the Arco tote it's a smaller version of the Dior book tote I know the Dior book tote does have a new small size but this one's a little bit bigger so it's basically a bigger version of the new small Dior book tote but it's smaller than the medium Dior book tote if that makes sense I feel like it's either on par or slightly wider like in length than the Louis Vuitton PM on the go tote so anyways I love it I when I saw it in person I'm going to try to find the clip if I still have it it was it was in a vlog but I'll try to post a clip of it here it was just so utterly adorable and cute and I was just absolutely obsessed with it it took everything in me to not buy that bag on the spot how Ever. they just recently came out with a denim version of the book tote <laughs> and it even says like Bottega Veneta on the side in white I don't know why just like oh my goodness if you guys have been with me following me consistently you guys know that I de desperately want to add a denim bag into my collection I initially really wanted a Chanel classic flap in denim but that's just near to impossible to get and then the Louis Vuitton had their denim speedy near to impossible to get I'm just not shopping that frequently to be able to be either that lucky or to have one of my essays text me about it it's just I'm not in Louis Vuitton that often anymore at all if not ever uh, other than the website I stalked that website like crazy so when I saw this uh Bottega Veneta Arco to it I was just like oh my god this this literally could have been as annoying as it is okay my everyday bag okay the Dior book toad even in the, sm the my size the medium size let me just grab it so you guys can see this I've been using every day but it is very big and it's very heavy especially when you have stuff in here if you have watched any Dior book tote videos the Dior book tote is extremely weighty but I, I like the weight of it because it adds to kind of that like luxe feel this is really expensive based on the current price increases but when I bought it at the time I think this is 100% worth it genuinely just because the <laughs> you just can't understand it unless you actually have a Dior book tote because the amount of work and effort that goes to this embroidery especially the newer ones that have all the birds and the animals on it the flowers or whatever that's just magnificent I think the Dior book totes are so worth it and I definitely will buy another one but anyways going back to the the small uh Bottega Veneta Arco tote they have this in a lot of different colors but the denim one really just like it's just it has like heartstrings on me and I really 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 want it so yeah if you guys have the small Arco tote please please tell me something negative about it so then I don't want it anymore because it even comes with a strap just like the Louis Vuitton on the go PM was one of the bags that I really wanted but they just never came out with that in the reverse mono I want the PM in the reverse mono like so much I know the on prompt leather is what they're pushing the on prompt leather is what's so popular but okay so now that's a whole different conversation if I had to choose between the small Bottega Veneta Arco tote and if they came out with the reverse monogram on the go PM what would I pick? Mm, that's really hard what would you guys pick anyone anyone okay so the next bag that i really really want you guys know i'm a ride or die celine fan fanatic if you will there's so many things that i want from celine these pair of boots sunglasses whatever but the two bags that i just oh my god i can't stop thinking about so the number one one was the celine teen bucket bag i believe that's what it's called i specifically wanted it in the brown chestnut color it's just so cute if you've never seen it in person please go see it it's just the perfect size and because it's a 
bucket bag you can just fit so many things in it i definitely feel like my ipad mini could fit in that as well it's like structured but like kind of slouchy in a certain way just from the way that the buckle hits it however so that was my number one celine bag that i wanted currently and then i saw this one video of lisa i'm gonna insert it right here she's at the airport i think she used this like twice and she had the small uh what is this called hold on so it is the mini 16 in the satinated calfskin in black it's really soft i love this i know some people think this might give kind of mini kelly vibes and i totally see that 100 percent. i totally see that but i just really liked it like when i saw lisa wearing it and using it i just was like wow that is really cute if you've been wanting the way i and like compare things it's very weird but i feel like if you were looking for the louis vuitton alma bb in the Ompron or or the epi leathers i actually think this would be a really good alternative to that because it has that top handle you get the strap with it too and it's really small and mini i saw this in store and they had a green one of this i believe and yeah it's just it was so cute i actually love the canvas one of it it's giving me like her vibes with that canvas and the leather it's giving me basically a her bag mixed with a kelly bag mixed with some sort of celine bag into one and yeah so if i had to choose i would love to get this in black and gold or the canvas was really like calling my name love 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 the canvas one so those are the two main celine bags that i really 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 want oh my word oh my word you guys know that i love the triumph shoulder bag but i can put that one on pause for a little bit right now because i just i love my ava bag so much i don't really need another shoulder bag but yes if any of you guys own this one too please tell me something bad about it so i can let go because oh my god it's so expensive it's like 3200 dollars but i get it i understand it's all leather it's all calf skin and it's beautiful it's structured it's like the more structured a bag is the more expensive it is and that just hurts my soul okay the next bag that i'm gonna be talking about is the bag that might potentially break my no buy i just can't stop thinking about it and then ironically again this is what i'm saying i'm so easily influenced that it's really sad how weak-minded i can be when it comes to shopping i can be really emotionally strong if you need me to like not cry or like be there for you i will do that but then when it comes to shopping i'm like oh my gosh jenny has it and she makes it look so cute now i need it again so i have mentioned this bag before so if you guys know what i'm talking about ready for the build up so it is the Lueve Amazona bag. Initially, I when I first first saw the Amazona bag, probably maybe last year, it was the 23. No, I believe it's the 26. So the original one is like the long one. And I actually fell in love with that one. Tried it on and I realized it didn't look good on my body frame. Again, I'll try to insert a clip of it right over here just so you can see. I don't know, the way that the straps kind of fell. And then when I saw crossbody, I genuinely was like, huh. This is why 10 out of 10 always recommend you guys to try on a bag in person no matter how cute or how delicious one could look on instagram or on a model you need to try it on and it just did not lay well against my body like luckily because that's the biggest one most expensive one. Oh, thank the lord jesus and then i waited a little bit a couple months later they came out with a new size it was the amazona 19 i believe it's the square one and i love that one they had this like valentine's day collection with it it was like tan and then it had a heart on it i actually really really liked it and then recently they actually came out with an even smaller size i believe it's called the amazona 16 bag and it is so freaking cute and perfect and small and i believe i don't know for certain but jenny well jenny from blackpink i know that she loves Lueve. it's been known she always takes pictures with bags from Lueve, but there is this one clip where she's at the airport. I'm like super stalkery mode, okay? And I'm I'm 95% sure it's the Lueve Amazona in the 16 size. Just the way that the hardware looks, how shiny it is, the size, the aesthetic of the bag. I'm pretty sure it is. And the fact that she loves Lueve. And that just kind of solidified nail in the coffin. I was like, okay, I need this bag. So I really, really wanted it. Probably like 80% I wanted it. And then I saw Jenny from Blackpink have it. And then it just like shot me right past 100%. So if I were to get this one, I'm debating right now between... Initially, I was really die hard for the all avocado green color like that was the number one one that i wanted because initially the amazona one that i wanted was the avocado green color and then they came out with this kind of like what is it the anagram jacquard blended with the calf skin so they have that in the navy blue which is basically almost black the avocado green and then they have it in the uh tan green the tan color that louis is famous for 
and I'm honestly at a toss-up with the avocado green and the navy one but leaning towards the navy just because it's just so nice and I don't really have a color like that because I already have the puzzle in that kind of uh, sand color if you guys can see up there and I know that I eventually will get the Lueve hammock bag in the tan color so I already decided on that so more likely than not either the avocado green or the navy but leaning towards the navy because even um, Ur Ursula Ursula? I'm saying this so bad, I'm so sorry. Cobero, she plays Tokyo from Casa de Papel and she has the Lueve one. Obviously, she's a Lueve brand ambassador, so of course she has it, but she has it in the navy one and I just feel like it looks really good against denim. Like, I feel like it pops. When you see the bag on its own, it looks almost black, but at the same time, when you wear it, depending on what you wear it with, then the blue kind of comes out and I actually really, really like it. So yeah, so the next time I go to the mall, I'm definitely going to try on the 16 and the 19 and then I'll fully decide which one really like suits me because the 16 might be too small. It's like bigger than the Nano Speedy, but yeah, so we shall see. Oh, I really, really want it. The last bag is basically <laughs> the bag that I think I'm going to get for Christmas. So I'm trying not to buy any bags until Christmas. I'm not trying. I'm not going to, okay? Not going to, but the bag. I, this has been in my wishlist videos <laughs> for the last like two years I feel and I just always talk about it always talk about it and I just it's kind of like my Gucci Dionysus kind of craving where it'll come and go but it's kind of always there and because it's always there I just know that I need to get it so it is the Goyard mini Andrew bag and the reason why this is so expensive I believe I'm gonna put the exact price I wrote it down somewhere but I believe it's like $2,300 something like that and I know Sounds very expensive because the bag's so small compared to just a normal St. Louis tote from Goyard. I believe it's like $1,500, maybe with price increases $1,600, but it's definitely not past two k. And the reason why the Mini Anjou one is so expensive is because it's leather lined, whereas the other one is obviously just canvas. So this it has the addition price point because it's leather and this bag is reversible. So it's technically two bags in one because you can do it just all leather or just canvas in general i feel like if i wore this bag it would just be canvas i don't think i would be flipping it in and out maybe one time but the main reason why i've been lagging on this is because i generally can't decide what color to get i was so set on getting this bag in the green color but now i'm debating between well i'm not gonna get it in navy that one looks really good but i know eventually i'm gonna get something dior oblique with navy so i don't want two navy bags so the two colors that i'm debating between is it red Okay, the red one looks so good. Um, this other uh, luxury YouTuber, her name is Nicole. I'm gonna put a picture of it right over here. She has a red one and I really, really like the red one. Or the yellow one is really calling my name. Alyssa Lenore has it in yellow. The only downside with the yellow, I really like the yellow, but I don't know if it would look good on my skin tone. I know I'm yellow based, but I what if the yellow reflects off my skin tone and it kind of makes me look... I don't know. I don't know how I would feel about it because Goyard yellow is a very like warm mustardy yellow as opposed to let's say kind of like a lemon butter yellow like the Dior Caro or the Chanel yellow like that one I feel like would look better on my skin tone but the Goyard yellow I don't know. I don't know. Leaning towards the red to be honest. Yeah the yellow is a contender. I might just get an SLG in yellow. I That is the bag that's basically what I'm aiming to get during Christmas time. Uh, so yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I really really like it. It's I've been wanting it for so long. I remember the first time. I think it was when I was buying a wallet and I just saw it and I tried it on and then I asked the guy. I was like, oh, this bag is really cute. How much is this bag? And he told me he was like, oh, it's twenty two, twenty three hundred dollars. And I was like, hold on, what did you just say? This little bag is twenty three hundred dollars. I remember specifically, I came home from Beverly Hills, talked to my mom, and I, and she was like, oh, like what did you end up getting? And I was like, oh my god, I really wanted this bag, but then I found out how much it was, and she's like, why did you get it? And I was like, because I can't justify it being like that much money, and yeah. But now I realize because it's in leather like i get it i get it but i don't get it so yeah because it's not like the entire bag is leather it's half canvas half leather but anyways alrighty guys so we have come to the end of today's video this i feel like for the next three months this is the time people are saving up people are creating their christmas wish list getting ready for black friday what are or what is 
the number one bag or maybe like you're tossing up between two because that's me with the Louisville Amazona and the Goyard Mini Anjou what are the two bags that you're tossing up to buy for yourself or you're asking for for Christmas I would love 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 to know if we have the same one that would be phenomenal so I have somebody to just kind of like struggle with together and just uh, dream about it but as always if you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys